Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Knowledge. On today's episode, I think we need to sit down and have a true heart-to-heart -heart conversation about the truth of Pokemon liquidity, because for whatever reason right now, this is just a discussion and the topic and the conversation a lot of people are having. They're talking about the difficulties of Pokemon liquidity, and I just think it's just such a weird conversation people are having, and honestly, I believe that this conversation is rooted in all the problems that we truly have with this quote-unquote modern investment mentality a lot of people have. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of facts that I'm going to say in this video that people are probably going to get offended about, but maybe sometimes people need to actually hear the truth. And I talk about things all the time about saying, listen, if somehow between 2019, 2020, 2021, you somehow managed through the grace of God to lose money in Pokemon, you were doing something wrong. And I've said that so many times now in different videos, So, but it's about time I actually address that. And what do I mean by that? Because again, this topic of people talking about how hard the liquidity of Pokemon is, is everything that is the problem with this hobby. And a lot of the people that are actually talking about this and bringing this up as a conversation, talking about weird things like eBay fees and shipping costs, like do you even have a pot to piss in when it comes to your Pokemon collection? Why are these issues for you when it comes to liquidity of Pokemon? And we're going to get into that exact subject and this exact topic in this video. You talk about how things could have tough liquidity. You don't even have to go back that far and talk about how the hell are you guys having trouble liquidating any of this stuff because it's all selling very easy. And let's just go back a couple years. We won't even go back that far. We'll just go back to, I don't know, two. 2019 when freaking Avengers Endgame was in movie theaters. It wasn't that long ago. And let's just talk about some of the sets going back. You had Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, Unified Minds, Unbroken Bonds, Team Up, Lost Thunder, Dragon Majesty, Celestial Storm, Ultra Prison. And that just brings you back to like February 2018. Listen, if you went out in each one of those sets and bought one booster box and one ETB, let's say you bought a booster box at 120 and that's on the high end, and let's say you bought a booster box for $39.99, that brings you up to $160, how the hell are you having trouble with liquidity of those? How? How are you worried about shipping? How are you worried about eBay fees? How are you not up money? Okay, yeah, I get it. Maybe Hidden Fates and Dragon Majesties didn't have booster boxes, but they had Ultra Premium Collection. Well, technically Dragon Majesty didn't. They had the Super Premium Collection. And quick shout out to that mat that was in there. But even that thing was seventy nine ninety nine. Listen, how are you losing money? How is the liquidity for a booster box and an ETB of any of those sets? How is that hard? It's not. So what people are really talking about, and this is the crazy thing about the conversation, is people talk about the difficulties in Pokemon liquidity. Honestly, I'm pretty sure they're only talking about sets that came out in 2020 or 2021. And the fact that this is the conversation people are having, arguing about the liquidity of sets that are some of them are not even months old, let alone greater than two years old. Are you freaking kidding me? That is, what kind of conversation and arguments are you having about liquidity of Pokemon? How big of mistakes did you really make? Because I'll tell you right now, if you are worried that you have over leveraged yourself between 2020 and 2021 in super modern product and you're now worried about the liquidity, I'm just going to be flat out very blunt with you. You made huge mistakes and you weren't listening to channels like this. You weren't listening to really any channels out there. Even the big Poketubers, you know, like even twice big Jake Shield freaking team up forever talks about that set all the time. I've been talking about Cosmic Eclipse since this channel existed on the first video I ever recorded. You know, people were talking about, and you can go back to like the Logan Paul hype and when all that happened. Listen, all these sun and moon sets were not selling at crazy premiums. So the fact that people are worried about liquidity and they're talking about how Pokemon is going to crash and all this stuff, 
How are you losing money? How many mistakes did you literally have to make along the way? And I think the truth is, is that people were just paying so much over MSRP that they literally shot themselves in not just one foot, but both feet. And you weren't listening to me. That's for sure. I don't know who you were listening to when you were making your purchases. If you are literally that over your head, that somehow the very few sets in the entire history of Pokemon, and when you look at Pokemon, there is a lot of sets. It's like 90 different expansions. You know, what are you looking at? You're looking at two years of a 20, you know, 25 year history of Pokemon. You get focused in a two-year timeline and you worry about the liquidity. What kind of mistakes are you making? And if you are continuing to make those mistakes, please, please stop doing it. I hear people talking about, oh my God, PSA slabs are coming back and the liquidity of those slabs is going to go to zero. Listen, you're probably right. If you were, again, foolish and you sent cards that didn't deserve to be graded in the first place and you didn't really have any really high-end cards or even i don't know mediocre cards or anything that was in near commit condition meaning you only sent the high quality cards and maybe you sent them to psa before they shut down and you got in at those you know seven eight ten dollar fees for grading for psa yeah it's going to take a long time to get back but you're not going to be in for high grading fees yeah like i said i get it the bulk turnaround times we're still struggling with those but listen if you get back psa 10s they're still going to sell for a premium on what that card is worth raw plus your ten dollar grading fees the market is nowhere's close to devaluing let's just say i don't know literally any trainer card from the sun and moon era from sun and moon base all the way up to cosmic eclipse literally any you know full art trainer card at a psa gem mint 10 any one of those cards is going to hold a premium from the cost of the pack it took you to open that card versus the ten dollars it cost you to grade that card there's not one full art trainer from any of those sets you can possibly lose money on and there's no way that those cards are going to have tough liquidity for you unless you are very unrealistic with the prices you're pricing everything at, whether it's your modern product or any of your PSA cards. And you can go back to a lot of the vintage Watsy stuff. Any of those cards that you you were able to get your hands on in, in near mint or mint condition, meaning, excuse me, gem mint condition, so meaning PSA 9 or PSA 10, I guarantee, well, I can't guarantee you, but I am, I bet you, you're going to make money on any Watsy Gem Mint 10 card that you personally sent away for grading at $10. There's no way you're going to lose money. I don't, I don't believe it. Unless, again, you just completely overpaid for stuff. And again, just over leverage yourself to a crippling level. And I'm sorry if people don't want to hear the truth about this stuff, but I am so sick and tired about hearing people talk about the liquidity of Pokemon again. And I know the talk, I said it earlier, but the talk about shipping costs, oh, roll my eyes. And the talk about eBay fees, listen, again, if you spend $160 total for one booster box and one ETB of any of the Sun and Moon sets that I listed, or the Dragon Majesty, or Hidden Fates, if you bought any of those sets at MSRP, there is no way you should be worried about the liquidity of that stuff, unless you don't want to sell it because you just think it's going to keep going up and then maybe you'll see a retrace, but you will never see retraces of those products back down to MSRP. I'm sorry. A lot of those sets are just... It's not going to happen. You know, even Lost Thunder's not going back to $110 for a booster box, $99 for a booster box. Celestial Storm is not going back to $99 for a booster box. It's not going to happen. Cosmic Eclipse isn't going to retrace to $99. Team Up's not going to retrace to $99. Hidden Fates Ultra Premium Collections aren't going to retrace back to $100. Dragon Majesty Super Premium Collections are not retracing back to $79.99. It's not happening. So there's no way that you guys could potentially have trouble with liquidity of these things. 
All these things you can list on eBay at a 99 cent auction, and I guarantee you they're going to sell for a high premium, even taking into account eBay fees and uh, shipping costs. There's no way you should have been losing money in this time. And the only way you can be losing money is, like I said, if you've somehow wrapped up all your money in literally only sets that came out in 2020 or 2021. And ironically, even a lot of the products, if you picked it up in 2020, 2021 at MSRP, even a lot of those sets, which have been released in the last two years, there's probably a lot of you know money you can make on a lot of those products. Yeah, maybe there's a couple you could break even on, but I doubt there's very many out there you can lose money unless that big butt you were foolish and you just paid stupid amounts of money for stuff. And this is a tough conversation. I don't even have to make this a long video. Yeah, this is just a rant, but what are you guys doing wrong? How are, how are people talking about liquidity of Pokemon like it's a tough thing? Do you not have an eBay account? Do you have no feedback score? What is wrong with you? What are you doing wrong? How is the liquidity hard? Are you only looking at liquidity of battle styles? Is, is that it? Is that the only set you guys are all trying to liquidate right now? Are you not trying to liquidate literally anything else? Hopefully that you picked up at MSRP. Are you really having trouble like liquidating, I don't know, sword and shield base that you bought for $99 for a booster box? Is that is that the problem? Because it's only $200 for a booster box on eBay right now? Is that it? Is the shipping cost, is that it? Like you could only go back to the beginning of 2020 and it's a big deal? You can't go back to, God forbid, November 2019 and try to sell your Cosmic Eclipse booster box and your Cosmic Eclipse ETB. Why don't you go list those as a bundle on eBay? You could ship them in a large flat rate UPS box for $21.50. And guess what? You'll be fine. I don't even know. How much do you think a, a combination lot uh, Cosmic Clips booster box plus ETB would sell for, you know, a couple hundred, maybe like six, seven hundred dollars. You think it would sell for? You paid one sixty combined for the two, and you're worried about the liquidity. And you're talking about how the liquidity is tough. Start that auction at ninety nine cents. Like, I don't want to hear this anymore. I'm so sick of this conversation. It's just it's everything that is wrong with this hobby. The fact that people are even entertaining this stuff is everything that is wrong with the hobby. Get it together, guys. Pokemon investing is not hard. Sorry. I want to just sit here and tell you guys it's hard, but it's not. It is literally impossible to have lost money in 2018, 19, 20, 21. And like I said, it's only impossible unless you guys just made foolish decisions. And I, I know, I just keep repeating myself, but get it together. Be better. I don't want to hear people talk about the troubles of liquidity of Pokemon ever again. I roll my eyes every time I read one of those comments. Yeah, but I don't know. Anyways, catch you guys on the next video.